Welcome to Quick Hits. Here on That's Good Sports, I am Brandon Perna, and I wasn't planning on doing a video today. But after I learned the reason Tyrod Taylor did not play on Sunday, I had to talk about this real quick. Per Adam Schefter, a Chargers team doctor was administering a pain-killing injection, which I call taking a shot of whiskey in my home, to subdue the pain in Tyrod Taylor's cracked ribs. The only problem? The doctor stabbed Tyrod in the lungs with a hypodermic needle. Now I will have Patreon shoutouts at the end of this episode, so stay tuned for that. Again, an NFL team doctor punctured his quarterback's lungs with a painkiller injection. Who is the Chargers team doctor? Aria? I've got a needle of my own. It's called Needle. And who are you hoping to skewer with Needle? It wouldn't be football season without a Game of Thrones reference. Thankfully, like Arya in Serio Pharrell, Tyrod said, not today to the God of Death. On a weekend where seven players tore their ACLs and we watched more key injuries than any other week in NFL history, this is the most bizarre injury since Gus Farratt concussing himself by headbutting the goalpost. But if you're going to hire a doctor named Hawkeye Pierce, what should you expect? And yes, that is a Game of Thrones and MASH reference in the same paragraph. I am as good as a Chargers team doctor with words. Look, I think we were all perplexed this week when Chargers head coach Anthony Lynn would not commit to Justin Herbert as the starter after his impressive debut. He was adamant that Tyrod Taylor is clearly the number one guy at quarterback for LA. That makes a lot more sense now, knowing Taylor was a game time scratch because of malpractice on par with the true crime series, Dr. Death. It would be really shitty to lose your starting job in the NFL because a guy with a medical degree stabbed your lungs with a narcotic. If a narcotic goes into your lungs, it should be rolled in papers and then inhaled like a normal person. And you should lose your starting job due to negligence and being too dang high. Now in a statement released by the quarterback, Tyrod Taylor has kindly asked all of us to never use the phrase threading the needle when referring to any of his throws ever again. Right now, the narrative is that it would be wrong for Tyrod to lose his starting job due to injury. That's total BS, especially at the quarterback position. Drew Bledsoe lost his job due to injury. Drew Brees lost his job due to injury and Phillip Rivers. If you are named Drew, you will lose your job due to injury in the NFL. Just ask Chargers linebacker Drew Tranquil, currently on IR due to injury. Or should I say Drew to injury? Andrew Luck, retired, drew to injury. Do you want me to continue? No? Okay. Here's why I think it's stupid to not play Justin Herbert right now. You drafted him to be your starting quarterback, and he looked damn good without expecting to start. You do no justice to your team by staying loyal to Tyrod. We all love Tyrod, but Herbert, in a loss, was better against the Chiefs than Tyrod was was in a win against the Bengals. Letting a rookie QB sit works when you have a better QB in front of them. It works if you have a really shitty team that you know you can improve in the next draft and free agency period. It does not work when you have a good team like the Chargers do and a quarterback who with no preseason jumped right in and showed he could handle the pressure. What is it? Ba -da -ba Breaking news? Okay, doctors have advised Tyrod Taylor not play NFL football this weekend with a hole in his lungs. These clearly were not the Chargers team doctors with that kind of sound advice. So it looks like Anthony Lynn will get an extended look at Justin Herbert. Because, you know, starting a quarterback with punctured lungs during a pandemic where the virus we are all trying to avoid attacks your lungs is the smart thing to do. So ignore my previous rant. Uh, Anthony Lynn being forced to take the growing pains now with Justin Herbert might be a stroke of luck for the Chargers. Sure, it's not fair to Tyrod, but Tyrod's entire career hasn't been fair to him. He's used to it, 
And there's not a single team in NFL history who won games because they remained loyal to players when they had better options behind them. Honestly, Anthony Lynn would be an idiot to not trade Tyrod Taylor to the Broncos for a package deal featuring Blake Bortles and Jeff Driscoll right now. That's the only right thing to do, Anthony. I do have Big Dick Patreon shout outs for new patrons. Kyle Rickert. Blue Ridge Mountain Plumbing, the best damn plumbing in Central Virginia, up to $165 a month. James Robertson with an annual donation of $51. You can now pay for the whole year on Patreon with a discount, I think it's like 15%, so good for you, bad for me. James Krupka, $10 donation. Henrik Hansborg, and the Titans are now my second favorite team. Tanny Goat is great. Thank you so much for your donations. Patreon.com slash That's Good Sports. That's how you support this channel. That's how we keep the lights on. Thanks for watching Quick Hits here on That's Good Sports, even though it wasn't super quick. I would say not as long as normal hits. I'm on Twitter, Instagram, at Brandon Perna. If you want to talk football trash to my eyeballs there.